Hi guys, Trello and Jira are two projects management tools, but which one should you be using? To help you make an informed decision, I will explain the main differences between Trello and Jira and will consider 7 criteria to see how these two tools suck up. I will leave a link below this video in which you can get a free trial for Trello and Jira, so you can also try them out for yourselves to see which one you like better, risk free. So let's get started. Trello and Jira are both owned by Atlassian and both inspired by and designed to enable the agile projects management philosophy. Trello is a simple Kanban-style task manager that makes it easy to see what needs to be done and who is working on what. It's great for small teams or individual users who need a quick and easy way to keep track of their tasks. Jira is a more powerful tool that's designed for larger projects with multiple team members. It includes features like sprint planning, time tracking, and advanced reporting. Thus makes it a more useful option for bigger teams or organizations or agencies that want to deliver detailed analysis of the work they are doing for clients. Now let's get somehow deeper. For the ease of use, Trello is one of the easiest project management tools you can use. Its simplicity is its strength. Even if you are new to using project management software, it shouldn't take you more than an hour to learn how everything works. It does the Kanban thing pretty much better than any other app. If you need Kanban boards with the addition of a calendar or timeline view, Trello is a fantastic collaboration tool. You can also make comments, link to files in Google Drive or Dropbox and you are good to go for straightforward projects. Where Trello starts to run into problems, is when you have a lot of boards and need to get a clear view of what happens across each board. With that said, Trello works most efficiently when you are a small team that just needs a few boards and lists. When it comes to Jira, the software is not immediately intuitive to the new user. There is a learning curve that requires the user to do a lot of learning to most effectively and optimally use Jira. For small teams or startups, Jira could be a bit overkill and time waster. The real benefit of the software is when you have 100 plus people that need a powerful tool for managing anything from a product's backlog to a new project or product's development lifecycle. So Trello is the most straightforward app to use. Jira is more complex, but that's the price of having a larger stable of advanced features. And for the task management, Jira provides a feature called task management that includes workflows. Using Jira software, Users can build a team, test softwares, and release it. Depending on their needs, users can also create their own workflows. In addition, it can be used in product development in different agile scenarios. Almost any agile framework can be matched directly to it. However, in comparison to agile projects, managing release-wise projects is a bit more challenging. Trello provides a variety of easy platforms to manage all tasks. It uses a three-part hierarchy to log projects progress. Users can create boards, lists, and cards with it. They can arrange elements according to their needs and assign them to particular users, assign due dates, and attach files. The system also provides a list of all the lists and cards that need to be filled, which can be accessed by the creator or by their team. For the team collaboration, Trello allows you to share a board with an unlimited number of users ensuring that everyone can see the tasks and status of projects. Users can mention other teammates, send attachments, directly remark on cards, and use emoticons. Along with these more conventional communication tools, Jira also provides team member task assignments, alerts, file sharing, and chat rights in your issues and boards. And for the agile projects management, Trello is a great platform for flexible visual Kanban task management but it lacks many of the agile features that a regular software development team would require. On the other hand, Jira was designed with agile software development teams in mind and provides a wide range of tools for that end. Now for the platform, both Trello and Jira are available through a web browser and support us as a first platform on each modern web browser. In addition, Trello offers iOS, MacOS, Windows, and Android applications whereas Jira offers iOS and Android applications for mobile experiences but relies on the web version for desktop users. For the integration, both Jira and Trello integrate with a range of tools and apps. Jira has way more stuff with a massive library of native integrations for CRM, time tracking, reporting, code review, cloud storage, and more. 
through the Atlassian Marketplace, users get access to thousands of third-party apps, plugins, and extensions. Trello is part of the Atlassian family, but it cannot use third-party apps in the Atlassian Marketplace. But you can connect your boards with 200 plus tools and apps that range from analytics and reporting to sales and support. You can also build your own power apps with Trello's own API. Some power apps are free, while others require an additional subscription fee. For the pricing, both Trello and Jira have a free plan and three bit plans, standard, premium, and enterprise. Trello's cheapest bit plan costs $5 per user per month, while Jira's is $7.50. With the standard plan, Jira users get access to the same features that are available with the free plan except for features such as user rules and permissions, advanced permissions, audit logs, and more. The other major upgrade is that this plan supports up to 20,000 users, unlike the freemium version that only supports 10. Trello users of the standard plan get everything from the free plan plus unlimited boards, advanced checklists, custom fields, unlimited storage, 250 megabytes per file, and 1000 workspace common runs per month. The premium plans of each platform are like a middle ground between the cheapest bid plan and the highest bid. These plans are a great option if you need access to some more advanced features that the standard plan lacks. For Jira, those features are advanced roadmaps, sandbox and release tracks, project archiving, guaranteed uptime SLA, and unlimited storage. For Trello, this includes features like dashboard view, timeline view, calendar view, workspace calendar view, unlimited workspace command runs, and admin and security features and priority support. Trello's enterprise plan starts at $17.50 for 25 users and offers advanced features like unlimited workspaces, organization wide permissions, public board management multi-board guests, and attachments permissions. Jira doesn't offer public pricing for its enterprise plan. You have to get in touch with sales for custom quotes. Jira also offers a self-managed solution, but you will need to dedicate $42,000 per year for 500 users. The price goes up as you add more users. You can host a fully functional copy of Jira Software Data Center on your own hardware free for 30 days. Both tools offer a free trial. So choosing between Jira and Trello depends on your business and your needs. Look at it this way. If your team has more than five members and you are working on a more complex project, Jira may be the better choice, especially if you are following the agile methodologies. If you and your team need to develop products that require testing and debugging, Jira comes with all the features you would need for project tracking. If your team has fewer than 5 people and you are working on a simpler project, for example building a website, then Trello seems like the better pick. In fact, Trello is a safer and more practical choice for most organizations and businesses. You can use this for everything from marketing campaigns and events planning to editorial calendar planning. And to get the best of both worlds, you can combine the two by syncing them. It's also possible you will end up wanting something different altogether. Check out the description of this video for some other alternatives to see what other apps made with you. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description that helps a lot. Thank you. So hopefully this video helped you out and bye bye.